Welcome back. You're listening to the Flow Friday Sports Show here on your colour of a country life, Flow FM. It's time to talk some more tennis, and we're going into Oyen, where Paul Dean joins me. He's the president of the Oyen Lawn Tennis Club, and they're just about ready for action under the lights there at the Oyen Tennis Courts. Paul, good to have you back on. How are you? Yeah, good, thanks, Alf. Yep, keen to get out on the courts. Uh, yeah, had the bye last week, so keen to hit the courts running tonight. Perfect. Well, there were some pretty interesting games on last week, Paul, so let's talk about it. Firstly, tell us about the game between Tarita and Cullen. Yeah, Tarita Colwyn, um, that's right. Uh, yeah, a good close match. Both matches were close last week, which is um, yeah, really good to see. And um, hopefully we have a good close season all around. But yeah, this Colwyn Tarita match, um, first of all, uh, yeah, she was a uh, um, yeah, only handful of games of difference in the end. In the um, ladies, uh, actually, I should explain, we've got a few extra men in our team this year. So the ladies have um, section will have a, a few mixed doubles matches in it, so we're calling that the ladies slash mixed doubles section. Um, yeah, in that section, the Colwyn ladies won that by 23 games, which pretty much set them up for the win overall there. Um, yeah, 23 game margin there. In the men's section, it was a 11 game win to the Tarita men there, so that brought the margin back to just 12 games overall. Uh, and then in the mixed doubles, uh, an extra doubles, the last section of the night. Tarita also won that there by uh, just five games there. So that brought the margin back a little bit more again, but not quite enough to get the win there. Uh, with Colwyn winning that nine sets, 87 games uh, to Tarita, nine sets also, and 80 games there. So a seven game win there to Colwyn. Uh, three set winners there were Sophie O'Shaughnessy, uh, Matt Dale Hill, Regan Eames playing for Colwyn. And the three sets winners uh, for Tarita were Liam Brackenbridge Bloom, uh, Kyle O'Brien, and Bowden Hayton. Well, this was the first sort of display that you got of round one tennis being back at the Owen Lawn Tennis Club. Was there a sense of intensity from the off pool, or was there a bit more of a build up and uh, some smiles and just people being happy to be back? How did it all feel just to get underway? Yeah, it was great. Uh, yeah, everyone enjoyed themselves there. Um, it was good to get get uh, yeah, everyone back together there and um, yeah, we had a nice barbecue tea and everyone enjoyed socialising and c- catching up with each other again. Of course, we're in a small town, we see plenty of each other, but uh, yeah, it's good to see each other in the uh, tennis environment. Performance-wise though, um, when it comes to that sort of social tennis component, was it uh, people being right into uh, you know competitor mode straight away or uh, were people sort of just happy to get around each other in those opening exchanges, Paul? Yeah, a bit of everything. Um, yeah, a bit of both, really. Um, yeah, good to see each other. And, and um, yeah, everyone wants to get out there and get their team off to a good start. Um, yeah, and, um, yeah, both games, as I said, were, were close. And, um, yeah, yeah we're good to... Good to um, good to be back again. All right. Well, tell us uh, how both categories of matches got on in the speed versus Kaiamo battle. Yeah, speed versus Kaiamo. Um, the ladies mixed doubles match. Oh, sorry, section there. Um, that was reasonably close there with um, speed coming out in front there by the seven games there. Uh, in the men's section there, that was even closer there with speed winning that section by three games there. Um, so that just gave them a nice ten game lead going into the mixed extra doubles there and speed won uh, that last section of the night uh, so they won all three sections there they won that last section of the night by three games there to give them a uh, what's that 13 game win overall uh, final scores there speed 9 sets 81 games defeating Kaimel 9 sets 68 games uh, three sets winners there for uh, speed were Travis Parsons and Letitia O'Shaughnessy and the, the three set winners there uh, for, yeah, were two three set winners there for Kaimel and they were Nick Vine and Millie O'Shaughnessy all right, give us a indication of how the ladder's looking. Just one game in, early days, but uh, it is important to note who's gotten off to the ideal start, Paul. Yeah, we've got Speed sitting on top there uh, with the slightly superior uh, percentage there. Uh, they had the bigger win there. Uh, they're sitting on top of Colwyn in second place there. Uh, then Tarita in third, Kyle sitting in fourth, and Timberu who, who played tonight having, um, after having the bye in the first round there. Um, hopefully we'll get off with a win there and um, leapfrog up to the top of the ladder there. Yes, Tim Baru, the <laughs> unknown quantity. Well, they're in action tonight, as you say, and they've got speed first up. So this will be an interesting one, Paul. 
How do you see it going? Can you tip either way here, or is it too early? Um, yeah, no, I'm going to tip Kimberley because <laughs> it's my team. Um, yeah, but hopefully we'll knock the feed off there um, and get ourselves going off to a, a good start there. Uh, and the other match there is Kyamal versus Colwyn. Um, yeah, Kyamal lost their first round there, so they'll be keen to um, yeah, turn things around there and get their first win on the board. And Colwyn will be keen to get win number two on the board there. So, yeah, a couple of interesting matches. All right, Paul, well, before I let you go, who's making inroads as to a potential sort of uh, player that might well sort of not, uh, you know, have any eyeballs on them? immediately in this season, but uh, they're already making some uh, strides towards being a player that people should look out for. Is there any name that springs to mind there, uh, men's or women's? Yeah, well, I noticed Travis Parsons. Um, he um, sort of played a few matches late with us last season. He's a school teacher and came to us at the start of the, the, uh, this calendar year. So he just started playing tennis with us late last season, and he was a three-set winner last, uh, last week. So um, I think um, he will be one to watch out for. Um, yeah, those, uh, the young O'Shaughnessy girls, Millie and Letitia, they were both three set winners there. I think, um, yeah, they're very good young up and coming juniors there. And, um, yeah, they're definitely a couple to watch, um, yeah, keep your eye on. And, uh, what's on the menu for dinner tonight, Paul? Yeah, we've got, uh, hamburgers tonight. Um, yeah, we've got quite a few hamburgers in the freezer. And, uh, we've got some rolls from the magnificent O and Mallee Bakery. And, uh, yeah, put a few additions into that. And, yeah, nice hamburgers. And, um, also we'll have some sausages and bread for, um, anyone who doesn't fancy hamburgers. So, yep, some, um, yeah, nice options tonight. Some very valuable sustenance indeed. That's how it sounds. Enjoy it all, Paul. And, uh, good luck. You're in action again tonight after, uh, dusting yourself off from a big winter. Enjoy it all, and uh, good luck. We'll speak to you next week. Yep, thanks. Thanks, Alice. Yep, can't wait to get out there. That is Paul Dean, the president of the Owen Lawn Tennis Club. More to come. It is the Flow Friday Sports Show here on Flow FM.